Thank you, Sarah Chairman. Leno, for bringing this bill. I'd like to be added as a co-author. Thank you, Mr. Liu. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, Mr. Knight and Mr. Chesborough. Well, I suppose I have to speak on this. Uh, you know, the way I look at this, this is not just a, uh, a same-sex issue bill that we have before us. Um, and I'm not going to go into uh, what the will of the voters is and what has been said over the last 10 years and all of that. I believe that states do, by the Constitution, have the right to make their own laws and be able to do as they see fit for the livelihood of their citizens so that states can make their own laws that are not transversed over to another state. Just like there are gun laws in other states that we do not accept, just like there are registration laws with cars that we do not accept, when you come to California, you have to abide by California laws. Now, I am not one of the attorneys up here, so I'm not going to go into the, um, the case, the Strauss v. Horton. But I am going to say that when a law is produced in this legislature and when a law that is so contentious as this has been over the last 10 years, um, the people have spoken on this issue several times. They have come forward. Um, this bill is fairly obvious that we are going to try and use the legislature to undermine what they have said. We are going to try and change their will. And that is not fair because they're going to start reading this in the papers over the next week. And they're going to be very upset that this was sent through very quickly and without any, any opinion from them. And uh, the big bad legislature is going to do what they want to do on an issue that has been so, so spoken about over the last 10 years. And the fact that it is illegal in this state and again, just because this is a same-sex issue shouldn't make it any different. It is illegal in this state. The fact that we would allow people to come from another state where it's legal and bring it here and now determine that we're going to say it's legal is not fair. And it's not fair for, for many issues that, that we don't um, have that same compatibility with other states. Thank you, Mr. I do want to point out before turning to Mr. Chesborough that this is a situation in which the California Supreme Court interpreting our Constitution has in fact validated numerous same-sex marriages and opined further on the incidence of marriage to which Mr. Leno referred in his opening statement. Mr. Chesborough. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. We had a very moving ceremony uh, rec recognizing July 4th last week uh, on the floor uh, in which uh, it was spoken at length about the, uh, how we've fallen short of the, the great dream of our Constitution and our Bill of Rights down through our history, but that it's been an ever-expanding, um, rising to uh, offer full equality to all individual human beings. Um, and uh, if the argument, and I'm extrapolating admittedly, of the witness in opposition is that somehow this is part of the full unfolding of uh, our acknowledgement of the full humanity of all citizens of our state and our country, uh, then uh, I associate myself very strongly with that and uh, would like to ask to be added as a co-author as well, even though I understand that it's a specific legal fix to a problem. Uh, I do think it's part of that larger unfolding. It's not enough. It doesn't go far enough. We are constrained by the actions of the voters, uh, but uh, I'm very pleased that we're looking to find every way to offer full equality to every citizen of our state. Thank, Thank you. Sullivan. Other members of the committee? Uh, if I may clarify, Mr. Mr. Trand and Ms. Brownlee. Uh, very, very briefly, I, I understand the intent of the, of the bill and the legislation, but federal law, uh, uh, DOMA, uh, Defense of Marriage Act, in fact, uh, does not provide for full faith and credit uh, or the right. doctrine of comedy, which address what, uh, uh, what uh, Mr. De La Torre is, is, uh, is talking about and which also touches on what Mr. Knight says, uh, which basically means that uh, the state Supreme Court left this issue open and silent. Uh, and I think because of the nature of the issue, which is so fundamental and, 
and it involves people's philosophy and uh, convictions and beliefs. I, I think the people of California have spoken at least twice on this issue. Uh, if, if, if we are going to fully vet this issue again, uh, if there is uh, an unsettled uh, matter, matter such as this out-of-state couples getting married uh, before the, uh, the November deadline or whatever, then we should bring that back to, this, uh, to the people of California. But to try to uh, legislatively circumvent this uh, or short circuit this whole process without, without the participation of the people uh, on such a fu fundamental issue, I'm, I'm afraid that I can't support it at all. Thank you, Mr. Tran. Ms. Brownlee. Yes, I um, we just wanted to say that I think it's it's absolutely the legislative role uh, to clarify uh, this issue for people who will come to our state. And I certainly believe that this is the right thing to do, and it's the humane thing to do. And in honoring humanity, um, I think that's that's the fair thing to do. It was said earlier that this is not fair, and so I just want to say that I believe that it is fair, and would. Um, be honored if I could also join you and being a co-author to the bill. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, Ms. Brownlee. Other members of the committee wish to offer a question or a comment. I'm going to say a couple things. Mr. Leno said something in, at the inception of his remarks that's very true. Inequality is messy business. This legislation, on my view, attempts in a limited way to clarify an issue that could result in exacerbating inequality. In response to a couple of remarks that were made in opposition to the bill, our situation in California is somewhat different from elsewhere because we had a very limited window in which marriage was lawful for same-sex couples. And then we said it was okay, and then very shortly thereafter said it was not okay anymore. No other state has had that experience. This bill, on my view, is utterly consistent with the Supreme Court's ruling in Strauss in two ways. First, it recognizes pre-Proposition 8 same-sex marriages as valid, as did the court in Strauss. Even the dissent, I mean, pardon me, I was the dissent in the marriage cases, even Mr. Baxter, for example, who was a dissenter in the marriage cases, was in fact at the oral argument among the key proponents of saying we ought to at least validate those marriages that took place already. We can't retroactively invalidate those. It's also consistent with Strauss in another respect, in that it gives legal recognition, but doesn't call that marriage to, in fact, valid marriages from elsewhere. So this pretty much tracks what the Supreme Court did in its opinion validating Prop 8. Pre-November, marriage valid, post-November, you have a relationship, it has all the incidents of marriage, but we're not going to call it that. That's what Mr. Leno's measure does. Uh, and with regard to the Federal Defense of Marriage Act, you know, that act does not require a state to invalidate or not recognize marriages from elsewhere. It gives states discretion as to how they wish to proceed. This legislation enables us to exercise that discretion one way or the other. You can argue that we ought not exercise it in the direction that Mr. Leno proposes, but that's not to say that we're precluded from doing so. In fact, DOMA invites us to do just the opposite and, and endorse Mr. Leno's measure. Is this in some manner contrary to the will of the people? Well, you know, the Constitution is the ultimate expression of the people's will in the state of California. The, the a court in Strauss interpreted the Constitution in a manner consistent with this measure. Ultimately, I think we need to listen carefully to what our Constitution says as we listen carefully to what voters say. And I would urge an I vote. Mr. Leno, do you wish to close? 